Okay, you got it. All right, here I am at OR Utah, talking with Chris Root, our good friends from Scotty, man. Chris, you have some new products. Absolutely. Tell me about them. Yep, so uh, one of our new products this year, the uh, transducer fish finder mount for uh, kayak fishing. Um, it's got our gear head, so you can take your fish finder off. Wow. Click it back in, no problem. Fully adjustable too, so if you want to pick your gear up as you're paddling, you can get Ooh, it if like there's any that. weeds or anything. Mm -hmm. Drop it back and in the depth. water. I can see the depth. Yep. It's adjustable here. We've zap strapped our wires up here, but uh, you know, you adjust for your depth. It's just two little lock screws here. Depending on the, the depth of the water or the gunnel on your boat. Plus there's also a two-inch extension on the back. If you need to kick your depth sounder out for some reason, you can still wow. put your transducer straight up and down vertical with the water. Well thought out. Doesn't have That's to be articulated up. right there. Absolutely, mm -hmm. just same thing with a lock screw on it. A um, couple mounting options, you can either go into track uh, or we do offer, we're gonna offer a mount too for our, our standard 241 mm -hmm. with a post. Oh, so okay, I see, yeah. Uh, to right. track or It doesn't have your post, post yet. So well, that's easily, I could rig that and nothing flat. Yeah, if you have work. a situation like this where you already have right. an existing mount on there, it will be a post attachment. You can just click wow. it right into our 241. Well thought out, like yeah. it. So, Neat. Uh, more on the paddleboard front, too. We've uh, come out with a 3-inch and a 2-inch stick-on pad. So it's got a 3M adhesive sticker on the back. Uh, it's got a quarter twenty stainless well nut inside, mm. two inch version, same thing. Um, all based for uh, accessories, so same thing. You can gear head right. with a camera mount, just on threads, and you're left with just a nice, uh, nice. Right, a lot of people don't know that that quarter twenty is a standard camera setup too. So yep, that's pretty yep. good. A lot of camera setups, yeah, like I said, just standard quarter twenty thread. Mm -hmm. um, but the accessories we have at this point for our stick-on pads, we'll have our gear head. Um, we're also coming out with busy. a flexible uh, D-ring oh. for either a tether or tie down. If you want to tie your board up and put a stake into the to the beach, if you're you know just sitting hanging out, feel cool. Um, also for a paddle clip, <laughs> so you can attach your paddle. If you're sitting paddling along and all you want to do is just throw your paddle in the water. It's not going to go anywhere, you can just chuck it off the side of your board and you hang out. Or if you're fishing off of a kayak, you can chuck it in the water, you pick up your rod and you can play your fish. Um, another one too is a stick-on uh, paddle clip to go along with their uh, flexible deering and paddle leash. So you don't have to drill any holes in your board. It's just the same thing, three on the piece of sticker right. in the back and then your paddle clip bolts right to it. You can unscrew your paddle clip and all you're left with is a nice little low profile pad. I like how it stands off too. Yeah, a little yeah. bit on to stand mm -hmm. it up off the board. Mm -hmm. And then it's just simple click in. Get your paddle there, you want your paddle, just click it out. Yes, he is. Smart. Yeah. Uh, some safety things as well too to go with the stick on pad and the gear head. We've got our light right off the back. Same thing if you want, you can just take your light off, throw it around. Mm -hmm. You can unscrew your gear head if you want. And you just left with a nice flush pad in oh, yeah. right. And then any accessory that we have, whether it be the flexible D ring or gear head, uh, we've actually got a cup holder button as well. Um, you can interchange. So if you put three or four of these pads in your board, you can mix and match where you want to put stuff. You want your camera mount at the back one day, you just thread it in here. You can put a cup holder at the front. Uh, you want your safety, your light. Just so we can around. set up an SUP to fish and you're not losing anything really. Exactly, yeah. All of your gear is lashed down. Absolutely. And you have the, the ability to now move where all your different attachments are as well too. Or you can just also put more pads on your boat and board wherever you want. Gives you more options. You can put anything wherever you want. Sounds cool. How about your back table? I'm... Uh, back table? We have uh, standard stuff. Mm -hmm. Combing clamp. Oh, right. So for guys that have combing on there kayaks and stuff, um, it's just a threaded, and it's got our gear head as well onto there, fits any of our standard posts, mm -hmm. come up with that one there. Uh, uh, most canoe gunnels uh, yep, going to fit it. Yeah, mm -hmm. we've tried to make this and we've got, uh, you know, put a lot of research into getting samples from all the different companies to try to make it interchangeable with all the different uh, combings that we could find. Um, other interesting one that we've done too is a backing plate, Yeah. so it's for our 241, 244 brackets. Um, quarter 20 stainless nylocks 
mm -hmm. uh, in the plate too. So instead of having to reach down like everybody's always trying to do when they're it's mounting things in, in there, right. it's built in there. You just hold the plate underneath, mm -hmm. put your screw from the top. We've been using them. They're excellent and they really sturdy up flexible yeah, tops. Exactly, yeah. yeah. They put a lot more rigidity into the mount. Plus right. you don't have uh, the possibility if you hook into a big fish, more and more guys are trying to go big fish on. You're not going to rip it out. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah, you yeah. got a way bigger footprint. Yeah, don't use self tapping screws on these people. Yeah, use, no. Use the through boats. They yeah. work. Yeah, absolutely. Quarter 20 stainless, right. so you're not going to have, you know, rusting standard steel bolts. Mm -hmm. um, and then that 241 locking, same thing, fits all of our standard, standard posts, standard, just clicks in. Pretty cool. You guys are just like at the top of it, man. You're always leading edge. We're, we're trying to innovate all the time, come up with new ideas, listen to all the guys, listen to the pro staff, what they want. Um, I try to come up with new ideas that makes it uh, more enjoyable. You know, it gives guys more options to do whatever they want to do. The future is bright. Absolutely. Scotty's the leader. Absolutely. We're trying to be. We're yeah. trying to be. Thanks for your time, Chris. Thank you very much.